Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the um, the Road to Armadillo Battle Staff series. I did not forget about this um, series that I had going. I did not touch this series for about two months, and that's because I sold my Dragor Maces, and I'd heard so much that Dragors or Glacors were really hard to kill with Mage, so I just tried to stay away with them. But I found a method that actually works pretty well, and you can momentum Glacors. Um, you have to have pretty high stats and gear and all to do it efficiently, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what I used and how I killed them just uh, with momentum. So this is the gear I use. Uh, it's by no means the best, but I don't have a ton of money to blow on a Virtus or stuff like that. So I used a Chaotic Staff, which has really, really high accuracy, which helps a lot here. And then uh, Subjugation Top and Bottom, I used an Arms Hood and uh, Dragon Rider Boots, which have pretty good defense against both range and magic attacks, that's why I use them. Ring of Wealth, of course, um, Cold Mancer Gloves, which are just Barrow's Gloves, and a Summoning Cape. Uh, just any skill cape works fine. I can't wear my Max Cape because my Max Cape is um, actually... It's... My Max Cape is Keepsaked, and if I take it out, it destroys the Keepsake key, and I only... Um, I use the keeps it. I use the free rune coins that you got those 200 rune coins a long, long time ago. I never spent them, and I use them to buy one keepsake key. And I'm not going to be spending any money on Solomon's store, um, so I can't get any more keepsake keys. So I don't want to take my max cape out of there, and I'm kind of a little bit too cheap to buy another one. So um, anyway, that's pretty much the setup that I used, and um, you can momentum these pretty easily. And then of course for the quick curses, you want anguish, um, and Torment, I mean, and Soul Split, so that's what you use, and then you can just momentum these quite pretty easily. I'll just kill one. I won't even bother overloading because you don't even have to overload to kill these things. And then um, it actually makes it really easy because when you are when you are meleeing glaciers, what they would do all the time is they would freeze you, and then they would do like this wind up attack. And if you didn't break out of the ice um, quickly enough, they would uh, hit you for a ton of damage. And the only way to break out of the ice was to spam click a lot. And basically, uh, this is just a lot more relaxing than Glacier's ever were, ever were with melee, and I think I actually enjoy this more. And then my summon was a unicorn, and um, while you're overloaded with uh, Torment activated, um, you actually don't need any food here. I've, I'm obviously not overloaded at the moment, but overloads make a really big difference here. Um, it boosts you up to 116 mage, and uh, those 17 mage levels really make a very, very big difference in how well you hit. So, um... With those two activated, you don't even need food here with um, this gear that I'm wearing or better. So that's pretty cool. But without overloads, you do need to bring um, a unicorn and some excess food. So anyway, that's just how I killed Glacors. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping I would get um, some boots on just that last kill. But uh, I'll go into me making the Armadillo Battle Staff now and selling the stuff that I did have um, from my tab. So the first four episodes of this series, I actually did have a uh, full tab for Glacors, but all that stuff got sold a long time ago. Um, I can't remember exactly what I sold it for, but I just do remember there was a time when I really, really needed some money, and uh, I couldn't fi find anything else in my bank to sell, so I did sell my tab from Glacors a long time ago, because I wasn't at the time thinking that I would come back to this series, but unfortunately... Uh, yeah, I don't have all that stuff, and I did sell the boots that I did get from Glacors. If you're interested in which ones I got, if you haven't seen them, um, the link down to... I have, believe I have them in a playlist. I'll put a link down to the Glacors uh, series playlist down in the description. Um, and then you can see all the boot drops that I did get. Uh, but all that money is long since gone. I made some bad uh, investment decisions and lost pretty much all the money that I made from Glacors anyway. Uh, which is really a shame. But anyway, yeah, this stuff was just all the loots that I did get today, all the little loots. Um, I got 24 shards today, um, and that took about 5 hours of killing Glacors. So that was pretty decent, and uh, I made about 1.9 mil from the regular drops, and then of course 24 shards is roughly 25%, or one-fourth of the Armadillo Battle Staff, and I already had um, 76 shards in my bank from when I started up the series previously. Um, so I was able to make that Armadillo Battle Staff and sell it for a pretty decent amount. And I must say, um, Momentuming Glacors, I know it's not the fastest. There was one guide on YouTube that says you can kill like uh, over 100 Glacors an hour, but you have to go complete try-hard mode and use 
uh, Virtus Wand and everything. Um, as good as that sounds, I think if I ever did come back to Glacier's, and I might, uh, I would probably just momentum them again because it is actually quite relaxing, and that's what I liked most about it. Um, I, when I do PVM, uh, I wouldn't do Glacier's because this is one of those bosses that requires a lot of luck, and luck is not something I have at all in this game. Um, so if I do go hardcore mode, it's going to be at a boss like QBD where uh, the money is consistent and it is not required on luck. Uh, but the main reason I would want to go back here is Glacier's are actually very, very good defense XP. Um, I was getting about 450k or 400k an hour, roughly, uh, and there the Armadillo Battle Staff sells for 16.15 mil, so that's pretty good. Um, and I do have the goal of 200 mil defense someday, so I might come back here just to train defense someday because it is pretty relaxing, and if you get lucky, you can make some money, but mostly to train defense. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching the series. If you're interested in the previous episodes, link will be down in the description to check those out. And uh, yeah, that's all. Battle staff completed, and farewell.